it really should be an open and friendly place. Uh, a, a lot of uh, the socioeconomically poor people um, are afraid of school. They didn't have good experiences themselves. They're afraid that they'll be criticized for their grammar, uh, for their dress, for heaven knows what, and, and they're afraid. Uh, so to make it a, a, an open and warm place where, again, so you're getting to know them. You're not preaching at them. Your first discussion with them isn't about how their kid is goofing up, but rather to chat about things uh, over coffee and donuts or, or whatever. And then give invitations for them to participate in things, but don't mandate it. Don't think that they're uninterested when they can't do it. Um, I talked to uh, parents some years ago in Chicago who had been invited to participate in uh, some kind of a curriculum committee. They were going to be treated as equals along with teachers and other people to talk about school curriculum. And they said they couldn't, they couldn't do it. They weren't prepared to do this. They were extremely uncomfortable. But they said, if they asked me to chaperone a field trip, I'd do that. See, I'd do that. So you have to find out what people are comfortable in doing, invite them to do those things, and then give them credit for doing it. I mean, uh, I would be much more comfortable working on a curriculum committee than chaperoning a field trip. I would not enjoy chaperoning a field trip. But there are parents who are wonderful at it. You know, they can, they can talk with the kids. They, they know them pretty well. They know how to say, hey, don't do that without getting their backs up. And, yeah.